The PSW or the graduate route visa was one of the easiest ways for international students to come and work in the UK after the successful completion of their course because during the period of the two years granted to them, they could choose to work for any employer and make an income for themselves. However, in the recent bargain to cut down immigration or curb immigration, this visa route was going to be under the review by MAC, which is the Migration Advisory Committee. And that review happened yesterday and the report was published yesterday. And in today's video, I will be sharing all of the key things that are important for you to know, especially if you are a student who's planning to come to the UK in 2024 or are already studying here. So if you do not know me, my name is Nikita and I make videos about getting your HCPC registration, working in the UK as a healthcare professional and all of the ways that you can clear interviews and land a job. So if you are somebody who would like to know more about any of these topics, do not forget to drop me a follow and subscribe on YouTube and Instagram. And my handle is Physiotherapy in UK. But let's dive into the content for today's video. So before we deep dive into what are the recommendations for those of y'all who do not know what the graduate visa is, let's just discuss that a bit in detail first. So the PSW, which is a post-study work visa, is also known as the graduate visa. And that's the formal terminology for it. It's basically a visa that allows you to come to the UK and live and work for yourself for about two years if you have successfully completed your master's program and up to three years if you've successfully completed your PhD programs. Now, why was this visa so crucial? It was because a lot of international students who came here for one-year programs of their master's were unable to secure jobs within two or three months and had to return back to their home country. And in order to avoid this and keep the sort of talented young professionals or young students coming in the UK to work for the economy and get better, what the UK decided was to introduce the PSW again, which is the graduate visa route. Now, as a part of this, like I said before, you do not need sponsorship in order to work with any employer. So this gives you free rights to work for any employer where you find employment. Now, this was one of the ways that the international students were finding their ways to start and become a part of the integral work culture within the UK. Now, before we move ahead, I just wanted to highlight this important factor, which I think is quite crucial. As you can see on your screens right there, it says that India continues to be one of the main countries opting for graduate visas. And this is followed by Nigeria. Now, this is not so much far off from the fact that a lot of dependents of students from India and Nigeria were actually applying for the dependent visa. And that was one of the reasons why they actually cut down the dependent visa for students especially in the recent sort of from January 2024 onwards. But like you can see right there, Indians and Nigerians further contribute towards the sort of graduate visa route. And this is not surprising at all. But let's go on to see what MAC has recommended. So this is the exact letter that was recommended or that was written by the MAC to the Home Secretary. And they have said that they are pleased to inform that the Migration Advisory Committee's rapid review on the graduate route is now complete and it provides insights on the five questions asked within the commissioning letter. They've said that they have not found any widespread abuse of the graduate route. And what is the best thing even is that they are obviously saying that they would like to continue with this visa in the future. However, the letter goes on to say that they do have reason to believe that some agents and sub agents recruiting international students are mis-selling UK's higher education and exploiting students in the process. So I think this is sort of a finding that has come out from the Max review. However, this letter is sort of put out there on the Home Office website. So if you have any questions about it, do not forget to check the link in the description below. And I will put that down. So definitely go ahead and have a look at it. But what I'm going to share with you right now is another very much detailed description of the entire PDF copy of what the Mac has actually reviewed and what its findings were. So talking about recommendations, as you can see on your screen right there, this is the exact recommendations that were put forth from the Mac. And this is through its detailed report, which is actually 70 pages long. But I will go through the most important points in today's video and I will leave the link for that again in the description below. So if you have questions about it, do not forget to check that out. As you can see right there, the graduate route was introduced in 2021. And one of the main things that they have done in terms of curbing or restricting the net migration is reducing the number of dependents that students can bring with them. So as of January 2024, students who are coming to the UK on student visa are not allowed to get dependents along with them. So in terms of the government's concern about the students misusing or abusing this particular visa, this is what the MAC has to say. Early indications show that the change, which is the change to the dependents coming with the students, 
will reduce the number of international students coming to study in the UK later this year, though it is not yet possible to assess the full impact of its implications. In time, this change could reduce the number of both main applicants and dependents on the graduate route as student cohorts move into the route. So what they are saying is basically because we've already restricted the dependent route for student visas, it will indirectly have an impact on the number of dependents who are applying through the graduate visa route, which is the PSW. And so they feel that it is not a misuse or an abuse of the current graduate route. And they would suggest that this continues just the way it has been going. Second recommendation they have is in terms of the policies for universities. Now, what they've found is that under the current higher education system, any additional restrictions to the PSW will put many universities at a financial risk. So they are suggesting not to close the graduate scheme or the PSW simply because under the PSW, the UK universities also receive a lot of additional funding because the fees for international students is much, much higher as compared to local university students. The next thing that the MAC would like to speak about is in terms of the local economies, because obviously the Home Secretary was worried about whether the students being there for the two years is actually putting a stress on the economy, which is already in recession. And this is what the MAC has to say about it. Closing the graduate route could disproportionately impact local and regional economies outside London and the southeast of UK. So our recommendation is to retain the graduate route in its current form. However, we suggest greater collaboration between the government and the higher education sector that could be fostered to support the government's desire to meet the labour market objectives. Potential pool of underutilized labor could be better integrated into priority occupations and sectors. They just feel that whatever sectors have lesser employment in the present time, for example, healthcare or teaching sectors, these international students could be used to fill out roles within those sectors. And so there's quite a lot of benefit in having the graduate scheme or the PSW right now. What's also really helpful to know is that when you are on your PSW, you do not have access to public funds. So essentially what is happening is you are paying into the UK government, but you're not really accessing any of that money directly because you are still on visas. And so there is really no harm to the UK economies. And what they found out is it actually is helping them to grow the economy in London and southeast of UK. The next thing that they've spoken really highly about is in terms of protecting international students from exploitation and abuse. And this is where they've said that they recommend that universities should be required to publish data on their spend on international recruitment agents and the number of agents recruited through agencies. They also recommend that the government establishes a mandatory registration system for international recruitment agents and sub-agents which encompasses policy control of voluntary AQF consulting with devolved administrations to ensure UK wide coverage. I think this is a really brilliant point because a lot of universities are putting forth programs to students from other countries and this might not be the best course for them or, or they might find something that's more of their interest. And so I feel that this is sort of protecting or safeguarding the choices that students make. And I think this is a wonderful point to have in there. The next recommendations are on data and monitoring, where again, the MAC has suggested that they recommend the government should only open new migration routes or make significant policy changes when it has a clear plan on how it can collect and monitor the data to assess the effectiveness of the route against the objectives and the wider impact. They also recommend that the Home Office introduces a requirement for universities to provide information about the course outcome, which is the degree in terms of whether they've got a first class, second class distinction or fail. That was the video guys. I hope you found this useful. But if you have any questions about this, let me just clarify it one last time. If you are a student currently in the UK, do not be worried. The PSW still stands rightly there for you. If you are a student who's planning to come to the UK in September 24 intake, Jan 25 intake or September 25 intake, as per this document, they have recommended, that is the MAC has recommended that the PSW should stay and should be valid for all of you guys. So if you have any concerns about it, please do not be stressed about it. Just take a deep breath. You will be fine. But that's it. Let me know if you found this video useful by dropping a like and take care. Bye.